Hello everyone! Um, welcome to day two of this. Um, right now I am rendering the first one. And it's just so big I watch it. But just to make myself feel smarter, I said the wrong Pokemon. I was talking about Trip Ball, not Charvaller. Yeah, I was... They made that Pokemon, they really mad. I made them up, by the, by the way, to get wondering how, like, awesome they look. Mine is Fezvala. Fezvala was made by Ember Coil on Spore. So, guys, I'll play Spore and find her. Go tell her thanks for making the annoying cabbage Pokemon. Anyways, so what is today's story? Today's story is about rats. Is that how we tell us? I'm gonna get, get a rat. Okay, what's being a story? Anyone? Okay, I'm guessing. I'm gonna ask you, because you don't like ever run away. Sorry, so. Well, that's Einstein. Because Einstein is freaking awesome. So, give that Einstein. So, the story starts, and, like, like, like any rat story, there's the course of the rat. And let's call this rat Einstein, you know, because I'm going to tell the story today. Watch you! You're going to boo me! That's what I Einstein, okay? Being a little black and white mouse. We're not like You're not a mouse. You're not a mouse. You're a pure waddy. You're a pure waddy. Why would I ever call you a mouse? I'm thinking the same stuff right now. You're a pure waddy. Jeez. You're just a pure waddy. Cause he's a cause he's a mobster. He's he's a, he's a gangster rat. Okay, a gangster rat here. Don't don't go wandering off towards the samurai dragon. Stay here. No. Okay. But anyways, so I nice said, you know, black and white rat. So one day he's walking around. The, he he walking around the room. Okay, cause his friendly master lets him out of the cage. So he's walking around, and, and he goes up to his brother, and his brother in this scenario is of course Charles, the tan and white rat. It's like, hey, Charles, I found I found a hole under the door. It's like freaking amazing. Check it out. And, and so you know Charles, being a little rebel, he is like, hell yes, I want to check it out. I want to go escape. I don't like this place anymore. It smells like broccoli. And so, and so, so go to the door. And of course, the master doesn't like paying any attention. They go to the door. And so, of course, Charles goes go on the door. And, and then Einstein goes on the door. You get out. And there's a cat. I mean, this cat is like, it's like ten pounds, and jiggles when when she walks. And so, I mean, so, so Einstein, it's like all like slow motion right now. So I thought that was so Charles is like, hey, man, what should we do? And Charles is like, hi kitty, hi, how's it going, hi kitty. And the and of course the cat is like, what the hell are you guys doing? Go back in there, I'm gonna eat your tail off. And so, you no. Know, Charles, being of course being a rebel, was like, "Hell no, you're not eating my tail!" And goes and bites the cat's nose. And that is how Charles and Einstein became best friends with the cat. That is the end of the story. And no, that actually is actually kind of how it actually happened. That's the not in that scenario. After that happened, after you know what, he was actually the video of that. He was actually the video of when they first met. Cause I, I actually filmed the whole thing. Einstein was, I think, in the cage still. Yes, here is the story. Anyways. Hope you guys have enjoyed my little story of Einstein, the mobster rat, and Charles, the, the little rebel. Goodbye, everyone, and I will tell you another story tomorrow. This is the stupidest thing I've ever seen her do. She's gone with no
nobody should ever have to see. If she could only talk, she could tell investigators the truth about that letter. When I said there was nothing specific in the note that she left, the note was another factor that led me to believe that they were dealing with a depressed person.